Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Coffee and Lore. I am so excited to be here with you guys. So I am here to talk about an amazing book that I read this weekend. I've been on a little bit of a, of a lull. I think I talked to you guys about that last week. And I put it out into the ether that I wanted an amazing, amazing book. And me and did I find it in Megan Miranda's The Last House Guest. It was absolutely fantastic. Like, I read it in probably six to seven hours. That's how freaking good it was. Just like, really well. And another reader friend of mine had suggested it to me, or I had seen that she had read it on her Goodreads. And so I'm super glad that we both enjoyed it, and I want to talk to you about it today. So this book takes place up in the Northeast. Um, it's a little town like a Cape Cod, like a touristy town that closes down during the winter, but has a lot of rich visitors during the um, summertime. And there's townies, and there is, you know, your rich visitors who come and visit. Well, there's a friendship between these two girls, Avery and Sadie. Avery is a town girl who's lived there her whole life in this little port town. It's called Little Port, in fact. And, um... Ave, oh, I'm sorry, Sadie comes from a very wealthy, the Lomans, and they own tons of vacation homes there in town, and it's, they've got a lot, a lot of money. Well, the Lomans hire Avery to be their property manager, and one summer, Sadie commits suicide. They declare it a suicide, but it, it's fishy. Avery does not believe it was a suicide. She believes something else was up at that Loman household. And so she decides to kind of do her own little bit of investigation and she has some of her childhood friends help her and it's a lot of twists and turns and the person who actually committed the crime that was committed, I'm not going to tell you what was committed, but it blows your mind. You don't see that person coming, at least I didn't personally, and I'm usually pretty good at nitpicking these and knowing when the killer's been introduced or who the killer is. So this one really had a lot of twists and turns that blew my mind and I thought it was really well written. I was super excited about it. It's off of Reese Witherspoon's book list. I had never read anything off of Reese Witherspoon's book list but I'm going to check it out now and probably read some more books off of it. I honestly just was really really happy with the book could not recommend it high enough. If you read one book this summer, I recommend The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda. On that note, I'm super excited to, um, I think I'm going to do a little bit more historical reading this week. Um, I have a book that I believe is like a historical romance that's been on my Kindle there for a little while. I'm going to pick it up as well as I got a friend of mine to send me a list of like five or six books that she highly recommends and I always love recommendations. So if you have a book recommendation, please list it down below. I really, really, really want to read what you like because I love to read just about anything. What are you guys reading this week? 